If my headphones didn't fall off, I'll shake my head and bounce my head like Ren Step on his puppet. But it fall off. It fall off every time. Hey, what's good, everybody? This is Milkman Music. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I hope you're having a blessed day. Um, make sure my mic on. Um, this is a test. I am going to try to rectify <clears throat> a persistent problem that I've been having. And it's been trying to record Studio One, everything that I do in it, with uh, three programs. Uh, that's helping me or at least I picked up two extra programs to help um, lately my recording latency of the video has been very short but it has been missing frames so I can pull up a VST and it wouldn't actually show the movements the knob turns the zoom uh, zoom in and zoom out so hopefully I have found the fix for it and right now I'm gonna play this loop that I got on the track from Cymatics and and I have the RC20 now this is part of the test I'm actually hovering it in a circle and I'm going to do adjustments to the buttons. And let's see, let's load up a different one. And then let's go back. Because I had to save it. Reminds me of a mushy pineapple. Okay. So, the quick, well, not the quick fix. The headache that I was having is that I'm recording at 48 um, kilohertz and I have my headphones, my microphone, and at the time I had my audio through the computer coming out of my focus right. And what I tried to do was to have Studio One run it through the focus right, everything recording audio and also do the OBS uh, but what I came across was that I kept having computer crashes and then I also noticed that I needed to update my driver um, I have come across something that raises an eyebrow and that is after I updated the driver or at least when I go to the sound settings because I can show you better than I can tell you. When I go to additional device properties, uh, well, that's not it. Uh, let's go to the sound control booth. So on playback, when I right click and check out the properties and go to the advanced tab, it shows that I have a maximum of six channels to 24 bit at 48 thousand Hertz okay but if I go to recording naturally it only shows two channels which is the two inputs that I have the mic and the line input instrument line input right you would think that it would show up the six channels here in studio one but once I go to well I can't go to the control panel now Actually, I might be able to let's see if I pull it up. So here right now, it's still running at 4,800 hertz. But the problem I was running into when I had this on Studio One running directly to the fork, uh, the focus right, is that it kept it at 41,000 hertz, which is fine but also it did not give me the option to have multiple channels uh, six channels like it said it would and that's input or output and 
essentially what I wanted to do essentially is I guess everybody that's everybody's goal is that they want to be able to play what they're playing have the response of the MIDI keys so there's no lag as far as the press to where it actually activates whatever instrument or sound or thing is doing and then to have that all recorded the screen the audio the microphone all of that recorded onto a mp4 mkv or whatever uh, you're using i'm not familiar with the uh, apple products or, or, or the mac there are some uh, uh there is a personas uh forum to where i got some idea and it, you're not going to get a direct answer unless someone puts a direct answer out for specifically your problem so what you have to do is cultivate everything that you're um, able to come across but right now like i said this is pretty much just a test if it works out good i will upload it or i probably add it in the beginning or ending of another video or make it its own separate video just because that this was frustrating and over the years i've recorded a lot of videos that either had good audio quality coming from the doll but i couldn't record the uh audio from the microphone or it'll do both but you could tell there was a, a off balance the microphone game was off the uh there was a considerable amount of clip and lag in the doll and me personally i happened to stumble across obs which is a good program and with this i have my settings set just for my computer itself but mainly just for the audio to where i have it set at 48 uh, kilohertz and 48,000 kilohertz and the desktop audio i have it set to this other program which is a voice meter uh, banana voice meter which let me see and i happen to stumble across this by another answer of how to uh, record multiple inputs and things like that so as you can see it's really not picking up anything because in OBS I'm recording my microphone which is through my focus right but if I do just make some noise on the computer you see it picks up on the OBS and on the focus right so what it is essentially is I've, I've seen someone in one of the forums or the blogs say like on a Mac is the multi input or the multi driver um, uh, the multi signal uh, way that you can uh, attach your audio to your computer and to other programs and for a window I'm using a PC for a Windows computer this is pretty much the best bet and also if you have usage of your line and putting your mic input for something else then you can also access the split file of it recording the microphone also so if you're recording something into your program with the microphone then you can also enable this so you can still keep talking and still hear you and you can choose whether to have multiple audio uh, multiple audio tracks recorded and that's pretty much all set up through the OBS and what you have to do is go to your um, it won't let me do it now because I'm recording now but if you click down it'll give you a advanced tab and it'll give you an option to uh, record different uh, I think up to maybe four or it may be five or six audio tracks and you can record the desktop separate record the mic separate that way you can um, edit or record it according to how you feel and the other thing that I'm using is that I don't have a webcam with my uh, my PC so what I do have is my good old trusty Blackberry Q, uh, Q10 and what would be a good way to I wonder would this work let's try something so I want you to see how I have it let's do front okay So I have a box with my Q10. Let's see if I get a gooder. 
and that's pretty much essentially what I'm using as my webcam and there is a tutorial there's several tutorials online when I upload this I'll put a link down in the description um, the two that really helped me out and all it is is that even if you have an Android phone it doesn't work for Apple phones but if you have an Android phone or a phone that has the capability of getting Google services on it then you can download this link I mean this link you can download this app called droid client and here is the hiccup to this is that I have I purchased the full version so I can use the HD capabilities because the the BlackBerry Q10 has an uh, HD camera on it, which is it's very it's very fast and smooth, and it just looks really real rather than a 720 or a 4 by 3 screen that has a lot of or even the screen that's now it's not recording the HD uh, camera on the webcam. Although this is a good camera, the phone itself has a good camera, so I'm really okay with that but the reason I can't get the HD camera on the BlackBerry Q10 is because the phone does not register as a compatible device through Google and there is other a ton of uh, tutorials and people that have shown possibilities as to how you get Android to work on different uh, phone systems um, I, for, I would say maybe about five to six months tops actually putting in the time to really try to figure this out and like I said I came across the voice meter banana the banana version I really like um, there is a lighter version that only has maybe one of each one uh, hardware input one virtual input and one hardware output but I like this because I didn't want to get to the point where I was going to need multiple inputs and outputs and then I have to go through the whole process again. Another side note is that I also have this cable input that you can also purchase through uh, the VB virtual cable company that has the voice meter uh, plugin or plugin but the program and that I got before I actually got the voice meter uh, banana and that was so that I have a micro M audio audio interface that came with my uh, M audio keyboard and for years I used this so initially I added this as a separate source of audio information to be received and to be uh, brought out just like if I want to have a cue uh, for a different set of headphones or a different output like for my monitors or for someone else uh, listening or in this case I can plug that in and actually have information sent to it and then have it received back into OBS so there's workarounds and everything like that but my biggest thing is that I have all of that now and currently now at this point and I don't know until I uh, go back and edit and watch the video but whenever I do record into studio one it goes fine there's no clicks there's no pops and nothing like that and everything just flows as I normally should and I'm going through everything and really talking and explaining and getting down to the nitty-gritty and then once I go back to look at the video or record uh, do the editing it shows that I have been did six different things within a couple of minutes and the video playback shows that it does this or it's playing completely but it's stuck in one spot so I, I knew immediately there was a latency problem and most part the problem that I really have noticed and I'll get an instrument and just check and see if this is still a deal the thing that I noticed is that whenever I use the FL Studio ACO as a bridge um, because I can't use the focus right because it doesn't give a multiple 
well at least the one that I have it doesn't give multiple options for input and output it just it is what it is so anything that I play from it will uh, go through it and come out of it so I would say for me personally I don't know if you guys can hear it I'll check the meters and just see so you can hear it I did a video I think I just uploaded a video and I was just saying um, I was even using it in reason how I was trying to play samples uh, that I had chopped up and there was a lag now there is not a lag and actually if anything it's almost as fast as if it was running just directly through the audio interface so that will that part I'm happy about that part I can say actually work um, give it a try uh, let me know in the comment section below if there's anything else uh, that you would like to know about it if you have any more questions or if you actually came across something that really helped therefore if anybody else comes across this video including myself that they can actually get to it and get it over with because it's it's a headache and it gets even more frustrating when you don't know you don't have any type of point of reference to pull from so with that i'm going to shut this video down and if it turned out right then i'm gonna save everything and i'm gonna be doing more videos with studio one um, because it is a lot that i would like to show that this this program is capable of even to the point to where i'm in decision mode as to if i want to upgrade to the professional or not because i get so much just out of the artist version and it really plays uh it really pays homage to you know you could do more with less and when you don't have a lot of distractions and nothing like that you tend to get your best creative work out of it uh, granted that the artist version does not give you the capability straight out the box to use vsts so instead of paying the full price for the professional i went ahead and just added the vsts since i jumped around so many programs as it is but the more and more i stayed into studio one i became very 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 loving of this program as to what it can do that i wasn't able to do in reason so the fact that i can do it in studio one and i still have reason and if i combine them both together uh so like i said i hope this works and i will catch you guys on the next video always remember doing what you love will always seem more like work Unless you put God first. You have a good day. If my headphones didn't fall off, I'll shake my head and bounce my head like Rand Step on this puppet. But they fall off. They fall off every time. Hey guys, be sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this, share it. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button.